Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob with the slingshot, unlock, soul guitar, and reach max level. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. Where the actor slam. Oh, they're yes. dancing forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Okay, so the question to be answered here is how to get Soul Guitar. Here are the requirements. You need 500 bones, yes 500, 250 ectoplasms, 1 dark fragment, and 5,000 fragments. Okay, so are you ready to unlock the Soul Guitar and reach max level? But first, we need a gun. So I decided to buy a slingshot for 5,000 bellies and start defeating bandits. I'll be honest, grinding with the gun or the slingshot is kinda easy. No joke. <laughs> so at level 15, we will leave this area. But before that, here are the stats. 40 gun, okay? All stats on the gun. Next up, the Fountain City. Target, Dali Pirates, only use M1 and that's it. See that guys? He won't attack you again. There's a wall. There you go. This strategy is very easy to do, which means fast level up and fast mastery. Okay, we will unlock both our skills, the sticky pellet, there you go, sticky pellet, there you go, and the X skill, the explosive pellet. Here it is, okay, so our target level here is level 55, and after that, checking our stats first, gun 122, melee defense 20. The pirate village, our goal here is to grind chests for more money and also beat Bobby. So again, Goal here is 100,000 bellies. Yes, that's a lot, right? But don't worry, it will be fast by doing server hop. Also, guys, you need to reach level 75 here. Okay, so at level 75, we will now head to the Marine Fortress and look for the NPC Advanced Weapon Dealer and buy the gun cannon. Okay, so this is one of the best guns, if not the best in the first sea. Next island, the desert. So our target here is the desert officers. With the cannon, our friend is the high ground. So as you can see guys, they cannot hit us. But let's defeat them just by using our M1. Again, the M1 of cannon is really good. And it is AOE. So almost equivalent to the skills. But the skills of this cannon really suck. <laughs> so let's focus on using the M1 and reach level 90. Now checking our stats. Gun 190, heal defense 40. Next up, the Frozen Village. Guys, look for the cave. Buy everything, especially the enhancement because this one increases your damage, okay? Now let's head to the Snow Bandits. And again, high ground is our friend. There you go. Very easy grinding. Target here is level 105. After that, your enemy is Yeti. So technique here, guys, is just lure him. There you go. And again, high ground. Okay, just keep using your left clicks and we will now start doing server hop from this boss. And our goal level here is level 130. Again, server hop starting from this boss. So here are the stats, 60 mil defense, gun to 70 next up, marine fortress. Don't forget to buy the black cape, this one increases your damage too. And some of your HP and uh, stamina. Okay, so head to Vice Admiral, Technic again, lure him here, and use your M1. Don't use your skills, because this might happen to you. I use my Z skill, there you go. He was able to attack me with this long range attack. You really want to use it, use it to last hit your enemy, okay? We will unlock our X skill, the Incendiary Ammo. Here it is, a lot better than the Z skill. Target level here is level 220. There you go. Checking our stats, 125 mil defense, 410 gun. Next up is the prison. So guys, our target is warden at 220. Strategy guys, wall strats. Same with the other bosses here. So as you can see guys, no damage taken. Just use your skills until you defeat him. Oh guys, bounty hunter. No! No! Anyway... At level 230, you can start defeating the Chief Warden. Same strategy, guys. Wall Strat. And at level 240, Swan. Okay? So you're gonna do server up here. Don't worry, guys. No damage. Just create distance. Okay? Well, I hope that you understand that. Just a reminder, while doing server hop, you still need to defeat all the bosses, okay? For faster grinding. 
Target level is 350. Okay, there you go. So once you reach that level, let's check our stats first. 175 mil defense, gun 700. Next up is the Magma Village. Target is the Magma Admiral. So technique here is hit and dash. I'm gonna show it to you. Hit him and dash away to dodge his attacks again. Attack, dash. Okay, there you go. Attack and dash. Okay? Again, I told you a while ago, we will be doing server hop until you reach second C. So there you go, guys. Server hop until 4 to 5. So after that, next island is the underwater city. Target is the fishman lord only. We're gonna do wall strat again. So lure him. There you go. And that's it. Again, server hop. There you go, guys. It's very easy. Just use your left clicks, some of your skills. And because of this strategy, we're gonna grind here until we reach level 500. So we've skipped lots and lots of mobs. There you go. Let's check our stats again. Gun is 1030, melee defense 235. Next stop, Skylands. Guys, the upper sky. So this is a battle between Cannon versus Bazooka. Guys, I tried to get the Bazooka but to no avail. Strategy, Stone Strat. Check this out, guys. Whisper cannot hit us as long as we are here in this stone. Sadly, we were not able to get the bazooka. Don't forget to buy the observation hockey, by the way. Our target level here is level 625. After that, back to the Fountain City and yes, back to the Galley Pirates. So here guys, we're gonna grind patiently until we reach level 775. And after that, let's check our stats. There you go, melee defense 375, gun 1575. Now we are heading to the second C and start grinding materials to unlock the soul guitar. Okay, so in the second C guys, I am thinking of getting the Kabucha. Yes, that gun is really good or the Asidium Rifle or I haven't tried this yet, the Bizarre Rifle. But first, let's grind with the Swan Pirates. There you go. Guys, they're very easy to defeat. Just use your M1 left clicks and your X skill. Okay, target here is 925. Guys, every time the factory opens, I tried to get the Asidium Rifle. Yes, Cannon can defeat this core solo, but sadly guys, to no avail, we were not able to get the Asidium Rifle. So I head to the Hot and Cold instead and ask my friend to do raids with me for Fragments. Again, we need 5,000, right? But for this raid, I ask him because I really want to get the Kabucha. Okay, so after two raids, head to the remote island and buy kabucha from Yusop. Here we go. There we go. 1,500 fragments. And there you go, guys. So we're going to use this on Fajita. There go. Again, we're going to do server hop with this boss. So check this out, guys. Just left clicks. Run, run, run. Left clicks. Because we don't have skills yet. So it will be effective on defeating him. There you go. For the first skill. The Z skill, we will be unlocking the Flying Firebird. I'm gonna show it to you. There it is. Don't worry, it is a uh, multi-target which is really helpful for grinding. Sadly guys, the M1 of Kabucha is not AoE. Target level here is 1000. Checking our stats. Melee defense 450, gun 2099. And after that, next island is the Snow Mountains. Target here, the Snow Troopers. Guys, at First, it's kind of hard, but once we unlock our X skill, yes, everything will be easy. The X skill is the Intense Wind. I'm gonna show it to you. Let's compare the damage of the skills. For the Z skill, it's 12,000. For the X skill, it's 17k. That's a lot, right? Oh, guys, I'm hitting four enemies with that, okay? That's four enemies. So the damage is multiplied by four. Okay, so target level, 1,150. Here are the stats. Next island is the hot and cold. Our only target is the smoke admiral. Guys, check this out. Some left clicks, one Z and X skill. Check the HP of the smoke admiral. There you go. So I think more left clicks and two sets of Z and X skill and that's it. While grinding the smoke admiral, I didn't lose hope. I still tried to grind the factory to get the acidium rifle because guys, that is one of the best guns right in the second C but sadly again no acidium so yeah that's it I won't try to like grind factors anymore continue grinding here until 1 to 50 and after that checking our stats again max gun 
That's the important stat here. Next stop is the island where we can get one of the requirements. Yes, the cursed ship. We need to get 250 ectoplasms here. It's very easy. You can use wall strat to do it. You're gonna grind here until level 1350. Again, don't forget the 250 ectoplasms and buy the bizarre rifle. That is for only 25 ectoplasm. So that's really easy. Next up, head to the ice castle and let's grind some masteries first until we unlock the heat seeking shot for the bizarre rifle. After that, time to grind the Arctic Warriors. At first, it's kinda hard because the M1 of this gun is single target, but just be patient here and once you unlock the X skill, the Hellfire Shower, guys. This X skill is really good. It has DPS after. Guys, check the damage. It's really good. By the way, at level 1400, you can defeat the Ice Admiral if you want. Now it's easier because you have lots of skills, but I suggest focus on the Arctic Warriors. If you get the Hidden Key, you can get the Ring Goku here. The side, there you go, you can open a chest. But let's not focus on that. Target level here is 1475. There you go. And once you reach that level, let's get the Dark Fragment. So how do you get the Dark Fragment? That's one of the requirements. You need Fist of Darkness and Summon Blackbeard. Or is his name here Greybeard? There you go. So make sure to inflict enough damage. As you can see, we're also inflicting damage. We're not just getting carried. There you go. We got the Dark Fragment. You only need one. Okay, after that, let's proceed to the next island, the Forgotten Island. And we're gonna beat here uh, Tide Keeper. Yes, 1475 until 1500. There you go. It's kinda hard, but this is the fastest way. At level 1500, make sure to do the Coliseum quest. After that, head to the green zone. And guys, welcome to the third C. Time to unlock the Soul Guitar. Congratulations. Remaining requirements, 500 bones and 2,300 levels. Also a puzzle, yes, the Soul Guitar puzzle, but let's focus on grinding. We're gonna defeat Pirate Millionaires until 1675. Guys, don't worry, 1Z, X skill, another Z skill is enough to burst them. Guys, which means it's easy to grind these mobs. And again, our target level, 1675. Stat check. Most important stat is the gun, max gun. Next up, Hydra Island. Target here is the Island Empress. Technique is Wall Strat. There you go. So just use your Z and X skill. Sadly, we cannot use our M1 to damage her, but it's fine, guys. Just be patient. Guys, I killed this boss lots and lots of times, but no serpent bow. That's really sad. I'm planning to use that. Next island, the Great Tree at level 1750. Target is the Kilo Admiral. Guys, our friend here is the High Ground. So just go up here and you can hit him with your M1, Z, and X skill. There you go. Check the damage. Okay. So guys, again, we're gonna do server hop here with this boss only until 1800. It's almost there guys, level 2300. Woo. Okay, so at 1800, here are the stats. Melee, 1, 2, defense, 1, 8, gun, max, next up, Turtle Island. Guys, the only mob to defeat here is the Fishman Captains. Again, just use your Z and X skill once and another. If you want, you can use Z or X skill to finish them off, okay? We're gonna focus on this mob until 1975. And after that, guys, next island is the Hunted Castle. This island is where you can get the bones. Again, you need 500 bones. I suggest you stay here until you get that first. There you go. As you can see, bones. So, guys, we're gonna grind bones and reach level 2075 with the Reborn Skeletons. So, after that, meaning we have all the requirements except for the level, right? So, we're gonna leave this area 2075. Here are the stats, max defense and gun. Next up, the Sea of Treats. Target is the Peanut Scouts. Guys, we're gonna grind here until level 2200. My rationale here is they're near the quest giver. They spawn really fast and they're easy to defeat. And that's it. Again, be patient. Next up, the Cake Island. You're gonna defeat the Cookie Crafters until 2300. Don't worry, these mobs don't have long-range attacks 
and as a gun user, you are their weakness. Okay, so at 2300, finally, head back to the haunted castle, wait for a full moon, talk to the gravestone, he will ask you to play, and for the first quest, he will ask you to beat, I think, five living zombies at the same time, and after that, excellent. Next quest is the signs near the gravestone. So I have a full video of that. I will put the link on the upper right side of the screen or in the description. I'm just showing it to you really fast. And after doing the right combination, you will say excellent. After that, talk to ghost. He's located here. Okay, after that, ghost will disappear. There you go. And you will head to this area. Guys, this is a pattern, okay? So make sure to screenshot this one. Okay. And after that, head to this area for this puzzle. So again, use the pattern. There you go. Just copy it. Okay. And after this quest, you will match colors. So this is what I'm talking about. There you go. There are blocks here. So check the pipe. It's okay. Black. Next is a red. There you go. Another black one. Next is green. There you go. Blue. And after this one, guys, you can now buy, there you go, the Soul Guitar. Here are the requirements. Again, don't forget about the 5,000 fragments. And that's it, guys. Time to grind masteries. And for the final 100 devils, we will do that on the Chocolate Land. Beamer Gnome, I have a question. Is Soul Guitar good? Yes, guys, it has fast reload. Check this out. Left click. Boom. Guys, M1 is like Canon. It is AOE multi-target which is really good but the reloading time is shorter which is better right and just like the other guns it has two skills okay for the z skill the soul shaker i'm gonna show it to you there you go and for the x skill we have the el diablo by the way this skill has life steal, which is really good check that out guys focus on the hp there you go it regenerated so guys if you are gonna ask me soul guitar is OP and given that it is a mythical gun so there you go guys we're just gonna reach max level here don't worry I will be posting the god Yuma next week so I hope that you enjoyed this video again to all the viewers subscribers supporters I really appreciate y'all we've just reached max level this is gamer nom and gamer nom out